John from the demo shop. Today we're going to show you how to do a tune-up on a dual action wood splitter. First we're going to start with doing the air filter and while you have the air filter cover off it's also easier to get to the spark plug at the same time. You'll need a 5 16 nut driver to get the air filter cover off. Then you can get to the spark plug, which is underneath the edge of the muffler. You'll need a 3 8 ratchet, a long extension, and a 5 8 socket. And you get to your spark plug, check the gap, take your gap tester. And you slide it in until it won't move anymore, and that's your gap. And then it's just put your spark plug back in. Put your finger on it, it'll hold it in until you get it in the spot. And snug it up with your fingers, and then just give it a little tightening. You don't want to strip it. Then push your boot back on and make sure it clicks, and you're done. On the air filter, when you take that off, you want to check your cover and make sure these fins in the bottom are not filled with grass and plugged up. And check the back side of your, your pre-filter and make sure that's not plugged. And your air filter, make sure that's clean. These are all good. We're just going to put them back in. Just set them back in, line up the three notches with the holes, and make sure your choke goes through the slot, and tighten it back down. It just needs to be snug. Okay, today we're going to show you how to change the oil on your dual split splitter. The e best thing to do to make it easier for you to drain the oil out is come to the front and raise your jack stand up to slightly elevate the front so that all the oil runs to the back. It'll make your job a little bit easier getting the oil out. Okay, to get the oil out you'll need a 3 8 wrench to go on this plug. Sometimes they're a little stiff because of the thread sealer. Just pull it out and drain your oil out. And if you want, you can loosen up your dipstick tube and it will let the air in so it drains a little faster. And once you're done, just put the plug back in. And it just needs to be snugged up. You don't want to over tighten it because you can strip it. And there you go. Now it's just refilling the engine with oil. There's two different ways you can do it. You can use a funnel with a long hose on it and fill it from here. But the easiest way is to put it in where your dipstick goes in. That way you only need a regular funnel that most people have. And you can just put the oil right right in right there and you want to start with about 24 ounces of oil then put your dipstick in and check your oil level you don't want to overfill it but you don't want it low either well this is John from Demo Shop I'm, I hope that the video helps you with your oil change tune up and thank you for watching